we use clobs and we set our secure file to preferred, but we seem to get some clobs that are still basic file. Uh, what are we doing wrong? And I will please let this person know uh, you're doing nothing wrong. We at Oracle are doing something wrong. Uh, let's show you that with a quick demo. If you're using any modern version of the database, uh, the default for clobs nowadays is set by DB secure file and we set it to preferred. Uh, effectively, I think back in when we first introduced this parameter and first introduced secure files, the parameter I think was maybe like none or maybe uh, I can't remember what it was, but effectively we would go with basic files unless you explicitly said secure files. And as we become more comfortable with them, now it becomes the preferred. So this is the default, it's set to preferred. If I create a table called clob test, it's got a clob there called CLB1. If I add another column called CLB2, there's two clobs in there now. Let's go have a look at user clobs, and we can see that clob1 and clob2 are both secure files. I think you can safely say that is the least interesting and impressive demo you've seen for some time. The database said it was going to do secure file lobs. I created the table and added some lobs, and guess what? That was secure file. That's hardly profound. Let's drop our table and explore a bit further. I'm going to create a table called clob test. It's got, once again, clob CLB1 in there, clob number one, and it's partitioned. Let's add another clob to that table, alter table, add a clob called clob. Now let's go look at the lobs table. And yes, we have a bug. Even though DB secure file is set to preferred, when you add a clob to a partition tables, we are not obeying that uh, operation, that parameter. We are actually creating it as a basic file. If you actually did alter table, add CLB file, store as secure file, then it will re respect that. It's only if you're relying on the default and you're adding it to a partitioned table. So what do we do? Let's drop it. As we see, our perimeter is set to preferred. Let's, um, let's up the ante a little bit. Let's now set it to always, which is like the next level up. So now it's always. Let's create our partition table again. It's got clob one in, in there already on the create table. We add another clob and nope, that doesn't work either. When you add that clob, the, you know, the clob we created with the table was fine. When we added the clob, then yes, unfortunately, we get no. So what do we have to do? Let's drop our table. Let's up the ante even more. If you do set secure file equals force, either at session level or at system level, then it's now set to force. I create my partition table, I add another clob, and they're now set to yes. What this means is if you have jumped on the secure file train, which hopefully you all are, because ultimately you get so many more options, you get compression, deduplication, plus you also get just better performance, better handling, and you're using partitioning and you're regularly adding clobs to a table as opposed to putting them there in the first place, then yeah, it's probably worthwhile having a look and making sure you set DB secure file to force to make sure they're never going to roll back into basic file. I wanted to show this there because it's a good question and also it lets people know that it's probably worthwhile going back and checking if you have any partition tables that do have clobs in them and you're not entirely sure that those clobs were added either at create time or added at a later date, Maybe go have a look in user lobs and just make sure that the secure file setting is what you expect them to be.